Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigvalo Grim here, and this is my Joker on my secondary account, and I have not spent one single reforge on this dude. The only thing I did is kind of get some of his gears to 60 from 55 or whatever I dropped them from raids, but I have not spent any reforge on this dude, so it's going to be everything, the random reforges that we got on the gears. It's going to be a little bit of a surprise in terms of stats, so yeah, yeah this one has two defenses and one little attack chance, that's not a good start at all. This one uh, has two stun resistances and one defense. That's also not good at all. Okay, this... Oh, oh, how do we even have stats at this point? How do we even have stats at this point, chat? Again, stun resistance. That's not good, but at the very least we got some crit damage in there. Okay, so this is... Okay, this gear is actually pretty neat in terms of rolls, considering I didn't put anything into it. But yeah, so far it's not looking good. So, and also the talents are not great are not great it was just free rolls i mean we got some epic crit which is great but aren't that kind of garbage and uh, in terms of stats this is how it looks and let me tell that it doesn't look good and furthermore we're going to have um, an entangling poison ivy over here where is she even? Okay, there we go. And she'll have to be the combo builder because we're going to use this team in phase one. So, not only she, she would not survive the super move because usually you have Ivy surviving the super move. But if Brainiac farts in her general direction, she, she'll perish at that point. So, we need to be very, very careful. So, yeah, this team will take it to phase one and see how much damage a zero reforge investment League of Anarchy can do. And uh, yeah, we're going to use all blades. It's going to be level 10 all blades on both characters. And the bonuses on all blades are not relevant because it's special tree damage. We don't deal special treats. But yeah, with that out of the way, let's uh, see how it went. And of course, if you do enjoy this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And yeah, let's go. Yet again, keep in mind, the only thing uh, that works in our favor here is the fact that we got level 10 on blades on both characters and the fact that we got um, a low level passive on Brainiac, so those minions are going to die fast. But this is tier 8. One mistake and we're good to go. I mean, look, that Joker is actually pretty tanky. Be before the fight, I was thinking about tanking the super move with Joker, actually, because that man's got a bunch of defense, but somebody talked me out of it and said, uh, ah, do it with Brainiac, man, and I'm like, okay, let's not risk it, let's do it with Brainiac eventually. So yeah, we're going to do the infinite combo here with the mid combo tagging, and keep in mind, keep in mind, one mistake and we're good to go here, so I'm not gonna risk super move now, we're going to use super move afterwards. First up, we want to get Brainiac to uh, his super move, uh, so we can get our Brainiac dead. Joker in, going for a special 2, Brainiac's close to his super move, so we're going to tag in our Brainiac here. There we go, super move tanked. Damn, that, our Joker is pretty tanky, I gotta give him that. He shouldn't be though, he shouldn't be, that is pretty tanky. Joker in and we're going to go for a super move here, there we go. Ivy in. Okay, a little bit of a mistake here. Did a few mistakes, but yeah, Joker back in. Special 2 in there, re-engage the combo. I win, tap 2 times, swipe back while blocking, tap 2 times, and Joker in, swipe right, tap 2 times, special 2, swipe right, tap 2 times, swipe right. Ivy back in, and yeah, from now on it's just good to go in terms of the usual League of Arc gameplay. The only difference is that we have zero fast detections, which uh, will... Um, by default, reduce our damage by uh, half. Not really by half, by let's say 40%. Compared to if we had. And yeah, the other stats are garbage. So yeah, the damage will not really add up a lot here. But uh, the gameplay is gonna do well. And keep in mind, this is tier 8. So that, that health that we're draining out of Rainiac is not that little of an amount, actually. And while I'm aware that this team at full potential is going to be able to one-shot Fates 1 Brainiac easily... This team that I'm using here is at zero potential, so that's, that's something to keep in mind. Ivy back in, two taps, back of all blocking, re-engage the combo, Joker back in, special two in there, swipe right, tap two times, swipe right, Ivy back in, back off while blocking, tap, uh, tap two times, Joker swipe right, tap three times, special two, swipe right, tap three times, swipe right, special two. And now we're going to tag Ivy back in. This is going to be our her last tag. 
Joker in. And we're going to make sure we get as much as we can uh, of our special twos. And yeah, after this people I'll show you a few more raid fights that I thought were a bit interesting, let's say. But yeah, this is the verdict. Let me know how much damage, let me know in the comments how much damage you think this will be. Again, this is an absolute zero investment in Gavarki and Poison Ivy is 4 stars, so that's going to be a reduced passive over there as well. 28 million damage with zero investment. That's something. That's something. That's far more than any, let's say, non-meta character that you build with ever deal. And this is not a build team. So that's that's why I need to focus on the right characters, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're going to use uh, King over here in phase three, and uh, I do not have a tank for phase three, and I can't really be bothered to build a tank for phase three. So yeah, you might see some health on this growth, but soon enough you'll run out of health. And we'll play with all our, all our characters on zero health. Anyway, one health, because if they had zero health, they would die. So while it's not the most optimal gameplay, it's the best we can do here. We'll have John Sir Green Lantern tank this, because he's got an entropy on. But yet again, he's not really tank either. King back in, swipe right. Capture time, swipe right. And yeah, I think at this point, because I can't be better and I'm too poor to build a tank for phase 3, I think I'm the... I'm the, I'm the best person alive at doing phase 3 without the tank because pretty much nobody's doing that because they don't need to. But uh, anyway, I, I think I'm the best person alive at fighting phase 3 without uh, any shape or form of a tank. Maybe, allegedly. M might not be true though. Okay, Grodin. Re-engage the combo here. After he does his uh, transitions, sharing a little bit of wisdom out of my uh, phase 3 with no tank knowledge. When he's in the corner after he does his swap, you can keep going with basic attacks and if he blocks you can tag out. And if you're doing that with King and you're ready to do a special 3 and he blocks, you can back away once while blocking and he will by default do a jump attack and you can do a special 3 while he's in the jump attack and he'll fall right into it without him being able to do anything about it and you can keep going. So, Dave is in the corner and he does this the class transition where he interrupts you with King. Either he blocks or he doesn't block, he's going to get screwed anyway. King back in there. A little bit of a risky tag in there, but it is what it is. Grot back in. Infinite combo with Grot here. You can do this with Dr. Fate with no problems, exactly the same, but you'll deal a little bit less damage because you don't get that armor reduction. Special tree in there, swipe right, tap your time, swipe right. Grot back in, building some combo. Back off, re-engage the combo. King back in. Special tree in there. Grot back in, engage the combo there. Continuing the combo after his uh, class transition. Special tree in there. Swipe right, tap your time, swipe right. Grot back in, re-engage the combo. King gotta go back in. Special tree in there right before his transition was available. And yeah, we got a little bit away over there. Uh, something went a little bit wrong there. And I shouldn't have tagged King out because we're not gonna have enough time to tag him back in, sadly. So yeah, rep. But uh, I guess it went pretty well considering the circumstances. Uh, yeah, 33 million damage I think is the highest I've done in phase 3. So now we're going to use uh, Black Adam here. Uh, and yeah, on this this will by far not be an optimal team for Black uh, Adam, because ideally you want to have uh, either Power Girl or Doctor Fate and classic Superman or Shazam. But uh, yeah, they were not available really. They were used with other teams in other fights. So Speed Force Flash and the Trustus will have to do here, sadly. And yeah, Speed Force Flash is not built at all. Like it's to the point where if uh, if I tag uh, if I build combo with Speed Force Flash or with the Trust it makes zero difference because they both have uh, only the uh, passive attack speed that Speed Force Flash gives. You can see there that he's below half health from two basic hits from Brainiac, which sucks. So yeah, unfortunate. Get okay, Black Adam back in, special tree in there. Backing off into another special tree. This is a pretty risky fight. Usually you also, you also risk uh, Brainiac uh, using the super move on you because uh, your power drains fail on uh, Black Adam. It's a 65 or 60% chance, I don't remember it 
100%, but it's either 60, 65, or 70% chance to forge him. But look, sometimes he can fail like three times in a row, and if it fails three or four times in a row, it's over. He's gonna do super move. But uh, Atrostos kind of diminishes that risk in terms of the fact that he's also going to power steal from time to time. And uh, really helps you out, not uh, die here. Special train there. Trust to sin. Yeah, ideally we want to tag uh, Black Adam in and out as much as possible. Because we want to do a special tree on four all blade stacks. And that needs very fast seconds. And we uh, do a special tree straight on the tag in. And the second special tree a few moments after the tag in. I mean, as soon as possible after the tag in. But we need to make sure that Brainiac doesn't block the second one pretty much. Because if he blocks the second one, he can teleport uh, in our face and pretty much wipe us out. After he does a jump attack, he's pretty vulnerable. If he uh, gap closes on foot without jab, without jumping, you can still risk it. You, you look, you can still risk it, but um, it's not recommended. But you can do that. Okay, uh, we failed to do a special tree there, sadly. I thought I had time right before the class change, but I did not. Oh wait, this trust is 3 stars because I can't be bothered to buy his shards. I'm buying XP capsules. That stuff is worth far more than I trust to shards, okay? Black Adam back in, special tree. You don't need a particular uh, combo to tag Black Adam in because um, pretty much any combo can do. Because he's tagging straight into a special. Special tree. Another one. And the last one here, and yeah, again, not an ideal team for Black Adam here, and this is a Black Adam with fast attack chance, so he's built for Dawn of Apocalypse stories, not for Phase 4. Uh, but it, it is what it is at the end of the day, and I'm glad I didn't get unusual gameplay at the very least, so the total amount of damage is going to be... Yeah, this much, 9.7 million. And yeah, also increased the raid rewards after this raid for everybody to see. You, the, you haven't seen all the pips in this raid and there were some other interesting ones, but for that, do subscribe to the last stream on the channel, links in the description. You'll see them there. But yeah, getting... Uh, th that one was nothing special. This one would be amazing for some people because it had all blades in it. And like, look, look, I I'm tired of all blades at this point. I got like 10 of them on this account so far. You don't need more than 3 of them. This one's gonna get shattered. This one's gonna get really, really shattered. And there's nothing else of interest in terms of the rewards there. But yeah, with all that out of the way, thank you so much for watching. Please do like, comment, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this video because it does help a lot. And uh, with all that out of the way, I think I will see you all in the next one. And yeah, this is this is the shattering of the old blades. If anybody uh, feels like crying about it because they don't have one and I'm mean like that. But yeah, I'm sorry guys. I literally have nothing uh, left to do with it. But yeah, bye.